brought to you by Moultrie Mobile. Turkey season's closed here in Missouri, and we had a good season here at the Proving Grounds. But a lot of my buddies, not just here, but throughout the turkey's range, didn't have quite a good a season. And that's because turkey populations are declining pretty significantly throughout much of their range. And there's a lot of factors involved in that. Loss of habitat's always a biggie. But predation is a huge factor, at least from what I see. And that's easy to understand. If we think about, like right now, hens are either setting on a nest or they've just successfully hatched those eggs, hopefully, and have poached to take care of. Let's talk about the cycle. Hens are gonna breed and in about every day they're laying egg at the right time of year for about an average of 10 days, depending on where you are. And then they're gonna incubate or set on those eggs for about 28 days. And then those little poats, what are small when they first hatch, they're gonna be 14 days old before they're strong enough to fly and roost somewhere besides on the ground. So that's 52 days on the ground from that first egg and so they could roost in a tree. 52 days and my dogs run around here somewhere and it's a lab and if I pitch the ball out here in this tall food plot we're right behind the house she can run out here and find it so you think about a coyote or a raccoon or an opossum or a fox or just domestic dog going down the list and for 52 days that hen is sitting on the ground you know all day long she's not in the tree at night and if it rains one time in there she smells horrible so it's easy for a predator that's way more skilled than my dog and hungry. You know, it's not getting, you know, dog food every morning. That, that predator's out there got to make a living. For 52 days, if they get downwind of that nest one time, it's probably all that wrote for that nest. So habitat's a big factor and habitat has changed a lot. It's actually become more fragmented, which makes it easier for predators to find these turkey nests or turkey poults. A little one or two acre block of cover, a predator going on the downwind side is like me throwing a tennis ball out in the middle and sending my lab in there to find it. For 52 days, if a predator gets downwind, it's probably going to find that nest and destroy it. Fortunately, some states, specifically Missouri, I'm so proud of the Missouri Department of Conservation Commission that voted in a change in the trapping laws. And we can now, starting next year, I guess maybe this August, we can trap now starting in August and go through October 15th. That's a big extension because used to we couldn't trap until about November 15th. And then on the more important side, the later side, we can trap where season used to end in January, end of January. We can now trap from starting March until April. That's the critical time. Predators have huge home ranges. If you can remove predators where you hunt, or that neighborhood even, right during or right before that critical nesting period, that's when you're gonna have the most success at removing enough predators that more of the prey species can reproduce successfully. That's the critical time. So I'm so proud of Missouri for recognizing that, allowing us concerned citizens that are really concerned about declining turkey populations to use the scientific management tool of trapping to balance predator and prey populations so they both can be healthy. You know, I know that we trap really hard. We removed over 100 raccoons and opossums and skunks this past fall and winter. We've been doing that for years and we have good habitat, we remove predators, and we have pretty good turkey hunting. But it's not quite as good as it used to be when fur prices were really high and folks were removing a lot of predators as part of making their income. Man, it's how people used to make some extra money to buy Christmas presents or, or you know, pay a truck payment or something like that. It's up to us landowners now to be motivated to use trapping as a scientific tool it is and work to balance the amount of predators with the amount of prey so they both can have successful populations. And using my motries out there right now, I can tell you, even though I removed 100 plus, I think it's about 115, raccoons, possums, skunks from the proving grounds, you know, last November through January, there's plenty of coons running the roads right now. And if we could have been trapping during the last month, I could have reduced that number. And there's no doubt in my mind that more hens would have raised a successful clutch of turkeys. You know, take that one step farther. Two great researchers, Dr. Carl Miller, 
Dr. John Kilgo, both great researchers, have studied coyotes a lot, and they have found that the quality of cover doesn't make a big deal of how many fawns survive. Well, a fawn is born and then becomes mobile way before 52 days. And remember, that turkey nest is there on the ground or those poles can't move much for 52 days. If good quality cover doesn't help a deer fawn survive, it's probably not going to help turkey nests survive much. And one of the big solutions to the problem of declining turkey populations is all of us working together as a team to balance the amount of predators with the amount of prey.